Hi everyone, thank you for joining our newest episode of Luxone Explained, the series for all technology enthusiasts, Luxone partners, and those who want to become one. Today we'll take a closer look at the Luxone app and see how the intelligent room controller works, how you can set specific temperatures for heating or cooling, how the switching times work, and much more. Let's get into it. In the Luxone Config and App, the function block called Intelligent Room Controller is our main way to control the air conditioning of a room. The function block learns on its own how quickly a room heats up and cools down, so it can control the actuators accordingly. Let's say the basic temperature in a room is 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius, but you want it to be 72 or 22 degrees respectively at 7 a.m. Since the intelligent room controller learns that the room heats up by, let's say, 1 degree per hour, it starts heating at 5 a.m. so that by 7 a.m. the desired temperature has been reached. It also works just the same if you want to prevent that your room cools down too much. Now let's take a look at the app. When we open a room in the app, we can see immediately the temperature, plus if and when the system is heating or cooling. If we tap once, we can adjust the settings. First, let's have a look at the temperatures. Eco min is the minimum temperature that the room should always have when we are in eco mode, according to the schedule. Comfort temperature heating means that if we are in comfort mode and the temperature falls below the comfort temperature, the room controller switches to heating mode. Next up, we have temperature shading cooling. If we are in cooling mode, the shading is activated as soon as the temperature is exceeded. Plus, we've got the comfort temperature cooling. If the comfort temperature is exceeded, the room controller switches to cooling mode. Ecomax is the maximum temperature. If we are in eco mode, according to the schedule, and this temperature is exceeded, the room controller switches to cooling mode. Temperature shading heating means that if we are in heating mode, the shading is activated as soon as this temperature has been exceeded. Once we have set our desired temperature, we can use the schedule to define at what times we would like to have which of the desired temperatures. To do this, we simply open an existing entry or create a new one. Then we can select the desired temperature as well as the days and times at which the temperature should be maintained. In addition to weekdays, we can also choose operating modes. In addition to the previously defined temperatures, we can also choose fixed temperatures, which we can then divide into heating only or cooling only if we want to. We can also choose whether to switch to this mode as soon as presence is detected. For example, if you come home earlier than expected or get up earlier, the system switches to this mode when presence is detected. The set comfort temperature can also be extended via presence as long as presence is detected. You can define this in the Luxon config or in the app's expert settings. There, you can also set how long the temperature should be maintained as soon as presence is no longer detected. What's more, we can change the mode quickly and easily if you want to achieve a different temperature for a certain period of time, either based on the times we have defined or simply a fixed temperature. Changing the temperature temporarily works via temperature adjustment. Go to Fixed Set Point, then enter the desired temperature and the time frame. You can also set whether this temperature should only be achieved with heating or cooling, or both. In the overview, you can also find a symbol with a little person on it. If you click on it, it turns the comfort mode on for the next 48 hours. Last but not least, if you opted to switch the statistics in the function block within the Luxon config, you can also see the temperature progression. Additionally, the history provides information about, for example, why heating or cooling is taking place or which user has made individual settings. So cool! And those statistics come at no additional charge. So that's it from me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't miss our upcoming videos. I can't wait to see you next time.